Well guys, Drew Junkie here, and since everybody's been asking me how to install the Android M Developer Preview, I'm going to go ahead and show you the easiest and simplest way that i found to do it. Um, it's a little bit complicated because the downloads actually don't flash it correctly. Uh, Google's kind of messed it up, so I kind of rewrote them, and I'm going to make it easy for you guys. So, that's what we're going to be doing here in today's video. Let's go do this. So to get the Android M Developer Preview installed on your device, you're going to come right here to Google's uh, developingandroid.com site. Pretty simple, right? I'll give you a link to it. And what you're going to do is you're going to come down here and you're going to download the correct image for your device. So I've actually got the um, Nexus 6 is what we're going to be working with today you can obviously do the Nexus 5, 9, or the Nexus Player. So just download the firmware. Now, I'm going to do this on these other versions too, but right now the Nexus 6, what I found is anything since the Lollipop, the flash all files that are included do not function. Okay, So I've taken the Nexus 6 firmware, downloaded it, re-uploaded it to my site, and put it so that the flash all does function. Okay, So what I do, if you have a Nexus 6, just come over here and I'll probably do it for the Nexus 9, probably the Nexus Player 2. Just haven't got to it yet. So I'll link them in the video description though so you have them. So I just come over here and I would download this file. So it's exactly the same file except for the flash all file functions for you and actually works and makes this really easy to do. Okay? Um, like I said, I'll link the other ones once I get those ones done. Alright, so we've got that done. Let me go ahead and show it to you. So here it is, I just went ahead and extracted it and basically you have this folder and you have all this in here. This is everything you should need to be able to do this. It should be very, very simple. Alright, so let's go ahead and put our Nexus 6, because that's what this is for, into bootloader mode so we can run the flash all. Alright, so here's my Nexus 6. I'm going to go ahead, it's powered off already. I'm going to go ahead and hold um, volume down and power. This is going to put me into the bootloader. There it is, right there is the bootloader. And then from here, you gotta make sure you have an unlocked bootloader. So right here it says device is unlocked, status code three. That's very important that you have an unlocked bootloader because otherwise you cannot flash this firmware. Um, if you don't know how to get an unlocked bootloader already, don't really worry about it. Um, I should say don't worry about it, but I mean, go watch some of my other videos. I have videos covering how to unlock the bootloader on here. It's basically really simple. Actually, from the window you're in, you can just type in, um, open a command window, and then type in fastboot OEM unlocking, unlock your bootloader. So, um, or you can watch another video I have on it. So we're going to go ahead and plug this in. And it should connect up to the computer. You um, might get your drivers to install. Um, I'll link you to some drivers if they don't install automatically. Mine normally install automatically for me. Uh, but I'll link you to those in the video description as well. And then from here, it's really simple. Um, quick note, this will fully wipe out your de device. Um, so make sure you back up everything on your device before you start the flash all process. Um, but once it's done, it'll reboot your phone. You wait for a reboot, and you will have Android M Developer Preview on your Nexus 6, 9, 5, Nexus Player, whichever. doesn't matter. So from here, let's go ahead and just click on the flash all bat. And this is the file that I've edited to make it actually function correctly since Google doesn't know how to make one that works or something. I don't know. So we're going to go ahead and click on it. And it says waiting for device. So for some reason it didn't actually um, connect in Fastboot. So we're going to do a reboot bootloader really quickly with it plugged in. And sometimes what I find is Fastboot doesn't start working instantly. There you go. It did work. So from here just let it go. It's going to do a couple reboots here. It flashes the bootloader. It does a reboot. It flashes, I think, the radio. And it does a reboot. You can see that also. And then it's going to go ahead and flash boot, recovery, system, cache, user data. All those things are going to get flashed over to your device. And you'll be on Android M Developer Preview. That's pretty, pretty much very simple and easy to do. I, like I said, because I package it all up into one, this is an easy, simple tool to use. 
Alright, so here you go. You can see the script has finished. Um, if you want to go back through it and just make sure there was no errors, you can do that. Otherwise, it just says right down here, press any key to exit and reboot. So we're going to do that. And our Nexus 6 is going to reboot. We are done on the computer. Very simple. So I'm going to let this thing reboot, and then I'll just show you we're going to be running Android M Developer Preview on the Nexus 6. Pretty cool, huh? All right, I just went ahead and skipped through the initial setup, and here we go. This is Android M. So I'm just going to shoot into settings to show it to you. There it is, Android version M. And, you know, if you want to actually go look at the Easter egg, you can do that right there. There it is. So go ahead, play around with it now that you've got it on your device. Very simple, easy process, especially when I've got those um, edited uh, flash all scripts that actually function. So I'm going to, like I said, work some more on some of those, and it should be rocking it from there. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Again, check the video description for everything you need, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.